which is super, super excited. Keen to kind of um, explore a bit more of that northern New South Wales part uh, and see what photos I can take. But yeah, super tired in a minute, still waking up, but um, getting there. Gonna go grab some breakfast, get some more film, and then yeah, head on down and yeah, start this little trip. <music> arrived at this incredible Airbnb um, yeah in I forgot the name of the suburb but yeah it's kind of 25 minutes away from Byron Bay so super close to some really good coastal spots I've definitely been wanting to explore down here beforehand so yeah thought I'd find a nice little setup close by and see what I can capture this fly just buzzing around me at the minute um, but yeah, sorry for the audio, I had a set up but didn't kind of work out, I had the wrong connector. The only camera I bought with me was the, well, film camera I bought with me was the RZ67, so I'm really excited to get stuck into that. I've got some Portra 400, some Portra 800 and some Kodak Gold, I'm just going to switch between those. Uh, I've only shot two rolls of Kodak Gold before, so it's going to be fun to kind of experiment a bit more with that and see what images I can capture. I haven't really got anything set in stone in what I want to do. I have looked up a couple hiking trails. I might do one tomorrow, um, so you'll probably see that next if I get into that. This afternoon, I think I'm going to head down to one of the beaches nearby. Um, I think it's like Hastings, Hastings Point, Pottsville. I can't remember the other one. And then, yeah, maybe save kind of barren for another day. Excited to be around nature and kind of relax as well. It's been very kind of head down for the past few months. So it's nice to kind of, yeah, just focus on taking photos and having a bit of fun. <laughs> Just went for an amazing swim. This water is super refreshing. You can see the reflections in my face. But yeah, definitely needed that swim. Still feeling a bit hungover from two nights ago, uh, which is weird, but I guess that's what happens when you're nearing 30. These things take longer than expected. But yeah, I don't really drink like that. So for me, hungover was extra special for me. Anyway, yeah, it's pretty stoked to be here. This weather has been mint. It's nice to get swimming. I love the ocean, I love the water, so anytime I can get in the ocean is great for me. But yeah, so first afternoon here, pretty stoked so far. Took a couple photos on the Mamiya. Didn't go too crazy. Wanna kind of reserve my energy for the next couple days and yeah, see how that goes. But yeah, probably gonna head back to the 
Airbnb soon. Make a couple plans for the coming days and yeah, see what's up. I'll check you in a bit. definitely had worse mornings with worse views um, so yeah I'll definitely take this one as a good one but yeah just finishing my tea and my breakfast took some really nice shots with the Mami RZ67 shot some portrait 800 and some portrait 400 it was incredible lights as you can see and yeah just thought first morning being here would be a good idea to wake up for sunrise and yeah kind of take advantage of the views there was this beautiful mist that was kind of rolling over the hills which was super magical i hope that's going to come out well in the shots and yeah just some really nice rich greens and vibrancies of different colors um yeah some nice kind of sunset hues there was some kind of fun light dancing around inside as well in the airbnb I took a couple shots in there as well but yeah i think i'm gonna head into byron today seeing as i'm up early um go check out what's going on there before we had breakfast here as you can see that was super nice as well a special place to wake up i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of overly impressed <laughs>
boy is Sweaty McGee. Um, yeah, as you may have just saw, uh, we've been in, sorry about the air conditioning noise, but it's way too hot not to have it on. But yeah, just been in Bangalore, had a little walk around. It was just too hot to walk. It's, it's legit crazy. It says 34 degrees in my car, but it feels hotter than that. So I'm not sure. But yeah, took some, got some nice shots actually. There was a little side street I popped down, as you may have saw. Got some cool shots of some vintage cars near a mechanic there. Uh, that was a little bit lucky. Um, yeah, shooting cut out gold. I've kind of been like overexposing it a little bit because I realized with my last scans, it kind of doesn't handle underexposure as well. You get kind of like a green car. So been, yeah, overexposing it. Maybe half a stop, not too much. Um, yeah, definitely, um, definitely metering for the shadows. Gonna leave here now because literally just can't walk around any longer it's way too hot my friend told me about a town nearby uh it's about seven minutes away um so i'm gonna check that out as well uh i don't know how to pronounce it i'll stick it up now um yeah it's the first time i've heard of it so keen to go see what the go is there and then yeah gonna shoot the rest of this roll hopefully keep going your boy is getting way too hot i said that like so many times but you get the idea
wanna give you a bit of a recap of how yesterday I ended up. Um, yeah, I was super stoked actually. I headed up to Byron Bay Lighthouse. I'd been there before, as you may have seen from a previous video. Um, but yeah, I wanted to head up there again. This time I had a little bit more time on my hands to take some more photos, get some different vantage points. Um, like I said, I'd been there before, so I didn't want to take the same shots again. So I was very kind of, kind of observant of that and making sure I was switching things up. I think I only got like literally one shot of the lighthouse itself because yeah, I was trying not to get those shots again. But yeah, had a really good time. Um, the light was beautiful. I uh, had a really nice sunset. Um, and yeah, the beaches, the views was incredible. And yeah, this morning um, I woke up at sunrise again and uh, took some nice shots around the Airbnb, um, some beautiful light. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all that's been happening. Just been taking photos. I'm thinking I'm gonna have a little bit of a chill day today because I'm a little bit wrecked uh, from yesterday. So I'm probably gonna head to a couple beaches this morning and then probably take some more photos this afternoon. I think I might head to Broken Head and see what's going on there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's been, you know, pretty unreal staying at this humble abode. Um, yeah, it's been nice to kind of take a bit of chill time and take some time out as well. So yeah, let's get to it. trusting of my car right now but we're about to shoot some Kodak Gold 120 we just arrived at the Broken Head Reserve gonna do the three something walk uh, I'll probably put the name of it up but yeah make sure you wear sunscreen my peeps factor 50 you know the drill seriously unreal views I'm not sure I'm taking the best photos because the, the weather is still kind of 
the sun is still kind of out in full force, getting some harsh shadows and that kind of thing. But even so, I'm just loving being out in nature and embracing the surroundings and taking a nice walk. Um, yeah, simply unreal, as you may have seen from the footage I've just shown you. Um, some really great kind of vantage points around here. Um, yeah, it's nice to just not have my headphones, just take in the sounds as well, you know, the ocean waves, the wind and all of the above. But yeah, it's a um, super beautiful spot. I'm going to be here for a little while longer, I think. Take a couple more last photos. And then yeah, I'm probably going to head back to the Airbnb soon. I'm going to charge my phone again because it keeps running out of battery. Um, <laughs> but yes, and then head to Hastings Point or Pottsville. Uh, to take some sun sunset photos there um, but yeah been really enjoying today it's been fun lots of um, time by the ocean which I always enjoy um, and yeah so I'm kind of keen to see what, how these photos turned out I've been trying to expose for the shadows as well so hopefully that's come out nice but yeah I'll check in soon Definitely a big day on the cards. Just thinking about how much I did today. It was kind of mad. But yes, enjoyed the hell out of it. So much shooting. Although maybe I only shot four rolls, but it felt like I shot a lot. Um, yeah, I was doing a bunch. And that was fun. I came back to this spot because I just wanted to see what I could get again. And I kind of felt a bit exhausted, so I didn't want to go search out a new spot um, but yeah as you saw on the way here we've got some really nice scenes happening as I was driving there was this little shop on the side of the road selling honey I'd seen it a few times and definitely wanted to stop and uh, take a couple photos it's super interesting a bit quirky a bit weird but yeah got some cool photos of that and yeah just came back here like I said I uh, wanted to kind of relax as well and chill for a bit but yeah been a successful couple days i don't think i've ever shot this much film in such a short space of time kind of feels a lot i'm a little bit tired but i'm enjoying it at the same time this is what i came here for this is what i wanted to do 
um, yeah, end of day three, maybe day two and a half. Um, but yeah, cool. So yeah, it's currently the next day. Uh, I'm going on a bit of a mission today. We're gonna head down to Yamba. So Yamba is this coastal town uh, in New South Wales. And yeah, it's meant to be pretty incredible. I heard a lot about it, so I'm pretty keen to check it out. And yeah, there's some rock pools and other stuff there that I wanna go scope out. I'm not really sure what to expect. I haven't done too much research. Um, so hopefully I can grab some photos in town as well. Maybe some older looking buildings, some cool stuff around. Yeah, pretty excited actually. Uh, it's a bit of a drive, but I thought why not? I'm already down this far, might as well go a bit further and check it out. I would love to go there and actually spend some um, longer time there, maybe book a place down there at some point. So it'd be cool to scope out uh, it for a day and see if I would enjoy that too. But yeah, cool. I'll see you guys in a bit. We have arrived at Yamba Beach. for the books yeah so just been in Yamba today it's been pretty surreal actually such a nice little quaint coastal town uh, really been enjoying it went to like the main beach where there's like uh, this kind of swimming pool uh, rock swimming pool next to the beach itself which was pretty damn cool um, so I spent the afternoon there chilled out there for a bit uh, and then afterwards I got told about this uh, rock pool called uh, Angori Rock Pools. What happened was I think they were like building a quarry and then they hit underground a natural spring, I think. Don't quote me on this, but that's what I read anyway. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool actually. Um, lots of places to like jump into the um, lake there and then you're right on the coastline. So I walked out a bit further and there were some more rock pools and then the ocean itself and found some really cool like algae um, and coral and stuff like that that was scattered across the rocks. I love the different colors. Um, yeah, took quite a few photos of that. Had some Kodak gold going when I was doing that. So that was quite fun. Um, but yeah, that's it so far. I've just come back into Yamba town because I wanted to take some photos of some of the quaint little houses that I've spotted about. Had a lot of character to them. So I'm pretty 
keen to take a few photos of those and then yeah maybe wander around a little bit more um and then i think i'm gonna do sunset at the main beach go back there um where the pool was because i thought that was pretty cool but yeah that's kind of the plans and what i've been doing definitely keen to return here one day um and spend a bit more time here just stumbled upon this cool lake so i took a couple pics